A well-built deck is a perfect asset to your house. It's also a great area to socialise with your family and friends and enjoy the Australian climate. Most decks are technically built the same way, but you can add different elements and create your own design. What I'm going to show you today is how to build a deck and also how to protect it with some decking oils. It might seem like a, a big thing to do at the start, but once you start chipping away and follow the steps, you'll be surprised and in no time, you'll have built your own deck. Now, first of all, you'll need some key components. Your posts, your bearers, joists and decking timber. Then you'll need string, tape measure and screws and nails. Sally's liquid nails heavy duty. Your caulking gun, a shovel, dry concrete, spirit level, a hammer, saw, stiff brush, decking cleaner, decking applicator and decking oils. Firstly, you have to work out what area you're working with and make necessary cancel applications and lay out your deck by marking out your post with your string. Good preparation's the key, so make sure to map out the plan of your joists and bearer structures and allowing all the timber that you're going to need. Then you can start putting in your posts. So dig your holes, lay down your base of 100 millimetres of cement in each hole, put your posts in, brace them up and fill them with concrete. Now you'll need to wait for 24 hours before building your deck. Great, my bearers are in and they're perfectly level. Now I've measured out my joists and I'm just putting them in. It's a good idea when measuring your floor out to just take into account what height your deck's going to finish at. The bearers, the joists and then the decking timber. So that's where I'll be sitting. Just keep that in mind when measuring it out. Now I'm going to grab the rest of those joists. Now it's time to lay your deck. Now, if you want it to look professional, you want to get the spacing right. I've made these little spaces out of a clout and a little bit of wood. They work great. So grab your Sally's liquid nails and put a little S. Pop your liquid nails on, lay down the timber, wait for it to dry before fixing it down. And again, always make sure it's level and flush with your bearers. Now don't forget to use your spaces because the last thing you want is to lay down the floor and then come and see you've made a few mistakes. Too many excess timber and you're almost done. Whoa, check out this deck, eh? It's come up a treat. I've just finished scrubbing it down with some deck cleaner and some mineral tips for the stubborn stains. Now, some timbers like Merbau they need to be aged for a few weeks, but this deck here, it's dry and it's ready for oiling. I oil it to protect it from weather and general wear and tear. So let's get cracking. We're almost there. Next, stir your decking oil with a flat paddle. Then, cut in around the edges with your brush. Now take your applicator and let's transform this deck. I like to do three to four boards at a time, just for a nice even finish. You can see that timber is just drinking up this oil. Loves it. It's a really satisfying part of the job, just watching the colour come through. So how good does that look? That'll be dry in two hours, then I recommend another coat. You can even go another. The deck will love you for it. So there you have it. There's your deck, the only thing it needs now is to be decked out. 